Say what you want about the game, but in my opinion, Ashley Johnson deserves to win best performance for her role as Ellie in part 2. <laughs> <laughs> this is a factual statement, no debate. Holy moly, Ashley's performance was something else. So, today, I'm gonna give you my top 10 Ashley Johnson performances from The Last of Us 2. This list is opinion based, so feel free to comment your top 10 list down in the comments down below. I read and reply to almost every comment I can. Of course, this list leans a lot into emotional scenes since in my opinion, in emotional scenes in movies, shows and games, they can sometimes fall apart and not work depending on the actor's performance. And just cause something is at the bottom of the list doesn't mean it's bad. All of these are mwah. Anyway, at number 10, we got the museum flashback. I don't know which and what scene they recorded first in what particular order. I think the museum level was designed a little bit later mid in the game. Took like two years if I remember. But what we do know is for most of the game, you know, Ellie is a pessimistic young adult. Her voice is deeper than younger Ellie. Her personality is kind of, you know, different, obvious due to the circumstances. So for Ashley to switch to a younger, more cheerful Ellie, a different pitch of voice, although that could have been edited, but regardless of the pitch of voice, for Ashley to capture a more joyful Ellie again in part two so well, her performance had to be on the list. Holy shit, Joel. We're here. Oh my god, it is a dinosaur! And it is. Joel! Look at me! I'm on a motherfucking dinosaur! Whoa, 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 what are you doing? Don't jump. Just climb down. Ah! Hey, hey. At number nine, we have Ellie calling Dina a burden. This is where we get to see early traces of Ellie's quest for revenge being self-destructive and damaging to the people she loves. We see things like this throughout the whole game. Ellie going after Abby instead of Tommy, her leaving Dean at the farm. And the build up to this was done very well in my opinion. It wasn't like a big 180 turn. And in this scene, she doesn't even apologize or try to say I didn't mean it, you know, it was in the heat of the moment. She doesn't comfort Dina who barely could walk by herself moments earlier. All in all, Ashley captured Ellie gradually putting her revenge before the people she loves in a flawless way, in my opinion. What are we... What are we supposed to do now? Nothing. I just need to rest for a second. Are you fucking kidding me? How long have you known? It was late a few weeks ago. A few weeks? We could have... We could have still turned back. I didn't know. I wasn't sure, okay? I didn't want to be a burden. Well, you're a burden now, aren't you? I'm gonna make sure this place is secure. At number 8, we have the Finding Strings confrontation. In this scene, it's like Ellie starts to scrape the surface of Joel's lie further and further. At the end of the museum flashback, Ellie's all quiet when she comes across the Firefly graffiti on the wall. Then we had the Finding Strings confrontation and then ultimately the final confrontation before she finds out the truth but it gradually progresses it's like the dial gets turned further and further step by step until is now really the time for this we traveled across the entire country to bring me to the fireflies i had so many questions for them Why did you pull me out of there while I was still unconscious? Because I let them run their tests. 
And when I saw that they were useless, I got us out of there. How do you know they were useless? Maybe if you, you just uh, would have given them more time, they could have figured Abby. something out. There was no cure. There's nothing that could help these people or anybody else. I know you wish things were different. I wish things were different. But they ain't. And we need to get these kids back to their families. Is there something else you'd like to rehash? Come on. At number seven is the Ellie freak out at the barn. I told you this list favors emotional scenes or whatever you call it, but you know, yeah, sad, angry, or even joyful scenes. They can sometimes not hit the spot or even become memes like you know mr stark i don't feel so good now by no means is tom holland a bad actor at all you know okay here's a here's another example i told you i was sorry i i didn't mean to laugh but you did you think i'm funny huh you think i'm funny well you gotta look mad i mean when you do that you look like some big ape or something stop that stop this that's not how you You feel me? Sometimes it can even happen to good actors too. There's a lot of factors into a scene. Music, cinematography, direction, all that mumbo jumbo. Ashley's performance could have not hit the spot in an alternative universe, but in this one, it does. Ellie? Hey, Ellie. Look at me. It's okay. You're home. You're home. Breathe, breathe. Okay, okay. I'm gonna take him, okay? I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't know what. I was just bringing in the. It's okay. Here we go. At number six, we have Ellie leaving Dina. Okay, so we don't know exactly what's captured or what's key animated everywhere, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah, and bro, Shannon's performance here with Dina, woo! But this list is Ashley focused. We'll get into Shannon soon. Anyway, this scene sticks out to me since there isn't any background music for the most of the scene. And when a scene can give you the feels without sad music in the background, in my opinion, it's something else. The way Ashley says, I don't sleep, you know, the way she pushes Dina, like, oh, I don't know what it is, but her performance here, it had to make it on the list. I don't sleep. I don't eat. I'm, I'm not like you, Dina. What? I love you. Prove it. I can't. So what? I'm just supposed to, to sit here and wait for you? For God knows how long? Just thinking you're fucking dead the entire time? I don't plan on dying. Yeah, well neither did Jesse. Or Joel. Hey, stop. Hey, we've got a family. She doesn't get to be more important than that. No. At number five, Mel and Owen aquarium scene. Now, there's a lot of things that play into this scene. You know, the climax of the scene that's implement music and muffled noises and, you know, yeah. 
Ellie's reaction is kind of, you know, lower than the Hamanum. But Ellie's reaction, even before she kills Owen and Mel, you can hear her panting, breathing harder and harder as she infiltrates the aquarium. This is gonna sound weird, but like Ashley's breathing, it conveys, you know, how Ellie feels, you feel me? Before, during, and after she kills Owen and Mel. When Ellie finds out Mel's pregnant, right, she doesn't scream or cry, it's more shock, struggling to breathe, and it's done in an emotional way. Even if you play that scene without music, it'll still be emotional. Like, just pay attention to Ellie breathing before, during, and after. And it's like, you feel what the breathing conveys, like, I don't know what it is. You might just say, it's just breathing, but I couldn't pull it off the way Ashley did. Like, if I went, <sighs> You gotta figure out frapping or some shit. Bruh. You're ugly, you're disgusting. I'm gonna play part of the scene, but if you go back and play the game, do pay attention to Ellie's breathing before, during, and after. <laughs> Tell me where Abby is. <laughs> How the fuck is she? At number four. Okay, I cheated. A top 10 list sounds and looks better than a top 11. Okay? I could maybe put these in honorable mention, whatever you call it, but I don't know. Like, bro, these, these are one of Ashley's. Woo -hoo -hoo. Okay, so I made her talk. Now, again, a lot of things factor into game scenes, you know what I'm saying? You have motion capture, facial capture, key animation, lighting, and a whole lot of mambo jumbo. But just the way Ellie shakes her hand before knocking on the door, the look on her face when she's entering the theater, and this sad stare. Oof! We don't know how much is Ashley in this scene or how much is key animated, but we do know, you know, that they do have facial captures so most definitely ashley probably definitely yeah she contributed i'm pretty sure she contributed it a lot to this scene with that emotional stare you know what i'm saying i made her talk <gasps> Then at number four, just wow, there's levels to the shit, man. Like, I don't even need to say anything about this. Ashley Johnson, we love you, bro. Thank you for being a contributing factor in a series that's been therapeutic to me and many others. If you lie to me one more time, I'm gone. You will never see me again. Just say it. Joel. Making a vaccine. would have killed you. So I stopped them.
Oh my god. <laughs> Don't you fucking touch me! I'll go back. But we're done. At number three, we got the final confrontation between Ellie and Abby. The moment where Ellie is about to kill Abby, Ashley screams and just the way she delivers, just take him. Oh. This scene has been very divisive within the community and it didn't work for some. For me, it did. And even if you didn't want Ellie to let Abby go, I feel that majority of people will agree that Ashley Johnson's performance here is amazing. Number two, the Porsche scene. Okay, so there's no music here until the end of the scene, but it's still incredibly emotional. I mean, of course, it is due to the context of everything before you get to the scene, but just also a lot of it is due to Ashley's performance. She doesn't overdo it and she doesn't underdo it. Ellie was originally gonna hug Joel in the porch scene, but Ashley came in and said that she doesn't think that Ellie should hug Joel. That porch scene, um, the script had Ellie hugging Joel, and that's something that Ashley was like, I don't know about this. And in my opinion, that change was for the better. Not because I don't want them to hug, but it's more impactful. Since Ellie said that she'd like to try to forgive Joel and pff, oh, they didn't really get to patch things together, which is just, it makes things so impactful of what, yeah, god damn, like, oh, okay, nah, uh, for me, Ellie does forgive Joel later in the game, but that's another discussion for another day. Yeah, The Last of Us 1 wouldn't be my favorite game without Ashley's performance and part two wouldn't be one of the best games I've played without it either. I'm grateful for her acting and I'm grateful for the change she helped make for this scene. Dina. Is she your girlfriend? No. <laughs> No, she, that was just one kiss. It doesn't mean anything. She just, I don't know why she did that. But you do like her. <sighs> so stupid. Look, I have no idea what that girl's intentions are, but... But I do know that she would be lucky to have you. You're so 
such an asshole. I'm not trying to. I was supposed to die in that hospital. My life would have fucking mattered. But you took that from me. Somehow, the Lord gave me a second chance at that moment. I would do it all over again. I don't think I can ever forgive you for that. But I would like to try. So before we get into my top pick, here's some quick honorable mentions. Tommy and Ellie at the farm. Whether it's mostly facial capture or key animation, Ellie's expressions here are something else. That's gotta be her. I'm sorry. Nora. This scene for me is carried a lot by the music and the red lighting, you know what I'm saying, the bass tone or whatever. But Ashley does a very good job of making Ellie intimidating in this scene. Because I can make it quick. <laughs> or I can make it so much worse. Tommy and Ellie's back and forth before she heads to Seattle. Whoa. You know what? I'm leaving tomorrow. And if you want to come with me, great. Now, my favorite performance from Ashley Johnson in The Last of Us Part 2. At number one, I don't think anybody's surprised. Joe's death scene. Sadness, anger, worry before entering the basement. The way Ashley uses her breathing, her voice and facial expressions to deliver all of the lines and convey the emotions. Oh. She even lost her dad. And then she acts out loose in the farmer figure. Imagine how that feels. Even talking about the scene that kind of funny, she got upset. Like, oh. Joel's death wasn't in the classic sad and emotional way of, you know, having sad melodic music playing and, you know, how it was done, his actual death scene invoked more anger than sadness for me. But Ashley's performance alone just tears you apart. All of the emotions in this scene. Thank you for watching the video. Feel free to let me know your top 10 list. Like, share, comment, do whatever you want to do. Sub with the bell if you're new. And I'll see you when I see you. What's going on? Let him go. 
Who is that? Let him she go! Snuck in. Why aren't you posted up outside? We didn't think anyone was gonna show up. What the hell did you expect? We gotta get out of here before the whole town's on top of us. You're done. You want what I want, right? End it. Now. Joel, get up. Joel, fucking get up. Please stop. Please don't shoot. Do Joel, please get up. <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> I'm sorry. Jesse! They're down here! 